I was a district judge in Texas for five years. I'm a member of the bar, an attorney. And uh, under the code of ethics of lawyers and of judges, you don't comment on a case in court until it's decided. The case pending in Judge Sarah Hughes' court. And uh, having been a judge for five years, I would violate the code of judges to comment on it. But uh, I think most of the people of Texas, from the monumental mail I receive, are reading the newspapers and listening to radio and watching on television. I think the people of Texas have a pretty good idea of what's been going on. Of course, it didn't surprise me as much as it did many Democrats, I think, because since uh, Governor Connolly had supported the Republican nominees in 52 and 58, uh, 52 and 56 and 68, only supported the Democratic nominees in the past 20 years when his very personal friend, President Lyndon Johnson, was on the ticket in 1960 and 64. Three out of the five, he supported Republicans. And uh, so happened that three of those five he supported, uh, Nixon was on the ticket each time. went to the wrong apartment because we knew that it was uh, it was either this apartment, the one in the back, or the one uh, immediately adjacent to it. And uh, you have to start somewhere. You have to begin in one of the places that you have. Did the suspects offer any resistance? No, they did not. I think it's now that it's all over. Well, I think all of the people here at the sheriff's office, uh, my feelings particularly, are that uh, we feel like that we're extremely fortunate in uh, having such a fine group of people, not only within this department, but among law enforcement officers uh, uh, in this area, in the state. Our major program is drug abuse education. We're trying to awaken students to uh, the different effects which can occur when drugs are used, not trying to preach, but rather just trying to educate, trying to get people to at least think and know what they're getting themselves into. But don't you see another drug abuse program is just a glut on the market? This is the problem. Uh, I'm just out of high school, and I know that Students are tired of drug programs. If they never saw another one, they'd be happy. But at the same time, there are so many drug programs that which are trying to do something, yet the rate of drug abuse among young people continues to rise, and there hasn't been one that's really done any good, so to speak. My fear is... Uh, that not enough freshmen today, regardless of the school, be it south or north, east or west, not enough freshmen of today uh, want that kind of fraternity. And if the members want it, uh, and they're not going to get new members, then they're simply going to go out of business. Are you saying then that college students today are reluctant to, to get into the, the hazing? And, uh, Absolutely. I think that their whole social code, I believe their political perspective, um, their ultra-sophistication, and they're infinitely brighter than, uh, than I was at, at their age, or than you were at their age, than any of us uh, were at, at their respective ages. They're brighter, they're more um, 
are socially oriented, and I think that um, uh, their, their whole idea of college life is less traditional um, and less gung-ho and less rah-rah than ours was. Specifically, uh, we assisted, for example, the, uh, the Tarrant County Hospital District in training their student nurses, giving them the human relations input that they normally do not get in their student nurse training program. Uh, we recently worked with the Dallas Police Department in providing their policemen with family crisis intervention techniques and skills. We have worked with uh, the Arlington Public Schools uh, with their guidance and counseling teachers. These are the kinds of seminars that we extend ourselves uh, to the community. Yes, I will. How are you going to vote? Well, I'm not sure yet. What's holding back your decision? Well, I just haven't read the paper enough, I guess. I'm no, I'm not. I'm not well informed on it. Uh, dear? How do you intend to vote? Uh, well, probably for the bond. Yes, I am. How are you going to vote? I'm going to vote for most of the improvements that were out in the pamphlets that they handed out. You say most. Yes, uh, one exception, I think, is some of the uh, recreation facilities maybe we can hold off on for a little while. I hope so. How do you intend to vote? I'm going to vote for the issue. Yes. How do you intend to vote? Yes. On all issues? I'm not sure. No, I'm not. Why? Because I, I feel like that the city of Garland, in the three years I've been here, has made a joke out of every bond election, you look at their roads, you look at any bond election that they put up. And I just don't feel like that the city of Garland fully intends to back up anything that they do. Then why wouldn't you go vote no? That's a good question.
there is a good bill pending in Congress, an excellent bill. I hold it here by Congressman Bob Eckhart of Houston. And that bill would create a national park of 191,000 acres. And that would be a sizable, a real national park. The ecologists of this nation are organizing, led by a professor in the biology department of uh, one of the universities nationwide to support a 200,000 acre national park. A big thicket there, national park that's worthy of the state and of the nation. It's badly needed in Texas to save that gym there. And uh, my efforts are directed towards getting the Eckhart bill or some similar bill. Certainly it would have to be 100,000 acres or more to really be a national park. Anything else would be, the department itself says, if you had 35,000 acres, it would be a monument, a national monument. Well, you know what a monument is. That's something you erect to someone, someone who's dead. You erect a monument, you've killed a big thicket. 